How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, when are we gonna get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, it probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. You got your apple. Wow. Thanks a lot. That's That's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? 
Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Asshole! Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think... I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You don't agree with me? Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. 
Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it there's all There's only yourself. two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe.